Hey y'all, welcome back to another opening with myself, I Want a Turtle, and today we're going to be doing an opening as well as announcing our next giveaway. We're going to be doing Sword and Shield giveaways throughout the month of February. Uh, reading through the comments from last week's video, it seems like the uh, vote for ETB won out just by a very narrow margin. Uh, so this Friday we will give away one ETB they could pick between the Zacian or Zamazenta. Uh, the only difference seems to be the sleeves and the box obviously, and then the... Um, I think the dice are different color as well. To commemorate this situation, we are actually opening up AETB. I actually purchased three and I have two Zacian. And uh, so then the other two are one of each. So we we'll might as well open this one. That way we can, the giver can pick whatever one they want. And I do really like this ETB. The dice, now they go one to six or 10 to 60. And then another dice goes to 70 to 120, and then lastly 130 to 180, and I think that's that was a really good idea. Makes it a lot easier. You don't need um you don't need a, as many dice, especially as Pokemon get to like Snorlax in the background rocking 340 HP. All right, let's see. We got our eight packs. Ooh. And here are those. Oh, nope. <laughs> Here are those new dice that I was talking about. As you can see, 20, you can see different numbers. And they go, that one has 170, so that's the, the 180. And here are those sleeves. It's kind of cool, they kind of got this, uh, you know, from different angles, the light reflects in different ways. So if you want to enter the giveaway, uh, stay tuned and we'll kind of go over the details for that. Uh, one other thing I just wanted to say is we're going to change up how we're going to do codes. Uh, actually, real quick. We're doing pretty good on Sword and Shield so far. Uh, we're getting pretty consistent pulls. We've opened two ETBs and two booster boxes. We've two Zacians and two Snorlax VMAXs. Definitely some of the better, uh, probably more sought after cards I would expect. And all right, so as far as codes go, we are uh, in an effort to kind of like evenly distribute the codes among people and make sure, you know, as, as opposed to it being strictly first come first serve, uh, instead of showing the codes in our videos, we're going to be doing them uh, exclusively through Discord giveaways and through our Twitch streams. We stream PTCGO every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings, and we'll be doing giveaways, or we have already been doing giveaways throughout them, pack giveaways in the game. So instead of having to find the code, you just enter the giveaway and then we'll trade you the codes if you do win. First pack is just a real boom, and it is the less impressive one. All right, let's keep moving. So the card that we want the most would be that full art Marnie. Yes, a rainbow one would be awesome as well. Ooh, forgot about that. <laughs> Old habits, or might take a little bit to knock that habit. Yeah, the rainbow one would be amazing, but I really, I think the full art just looks better. All right, let's see what we can do. We got a blip bug. Energy search is our reverse. And then a Dreadnought. Of course, more Zacians would be awesome as far as how things are shaping out for Sword and Shield cards in Standard. All I hear is that the Zacian deck, ADP Zacian, is just really good. I've been seeing a lot of videos from the likes of like uh, Azul and stuff like that. All right, so we got a Rare Candy. Pretty cool card. Lucky Egg. So I haven't seen this used, but that sounds interesting. Wolpix Nicket. Baltoy Rookity. And, ooh, okay, we got another Frost Moth. Feels like uh, these, some of the good hollows, Real Boom Frost Moth, uh, they're really making them not too hard to acquire if you attend events like League and League Challenges and whatnot. All right, so, so far we got some pretty, we got a good hollow right there, but no Ultra Rares yet. As always for these ETBs, anything can happen. You can get two, three hits, you can get zero hits, and that leaves a very sour taste in your mouth. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. We got a Pharaoh Seed. Roselia, is that a recycled art? That looks very familiar. And then, okay, we are getting very good non-ultra rares. We got a Frost Moth, we got a Chinchino. Watch this, we're gonna get the uh, the pre-release Rillaboom as well, slash League promo Rillaboom. All right, let's get our first ultra rare. And it does, or around, I do like that card. It does seem the reception to Sword and Shield is not as positive as I would have expected. A lot of people are saying that the V cards just don't do much for them, and I can totally understand that Pastel Veil, Galarian Rapidash could be pretty useful. 
Yeah, I can totally understand that. You know, I think for me, I after a couple people were talking about, you know, the arts just aren't as unique. Shout out to Nam P, who uh, can tell us a little bit about every single card and their artist. And things feel very CGI with the V cards, and that I completely understand. And even on the kind of like, for at least for the standard meta, seems like Zacian, obviously a lot of the support stuff, the quick balls, the and stuff like that are huge. But as far as the Pokemon go, seems as not to be having as big of an impact as I would have expected. All right, this is turning out to be a very poor opening. Let's get something good, please. Got Hitmon Lee, still a big fan of that art. Another rare candy, sure, why not? Cotney? Score Bunny. Silly Cop. Actually, what we would also like is some more Professor's Research. I think I only have one so far, which is pretty surprising considering how many cards or how many packs we've opened. I think we're good on lanterns as well. All right, guys, last pack. This is a little bit rough. Oh, wait, uh, if you do want to enter the giveaway, so make sure you are subscribed, of course. Hit the like button and leave a comment with the hashtag thank, thanks Garfield. I'll put like a little thing in here uh, to kind of commemorate our newest Twitch emotes in case you didn't, in case you do have not followed one of our Twitch streams. Uh, Garfield does hook us up with a lot of packs that we've been doing most of our giveaways through. I just want to give a shout out to him. And uh, yeah, so enter, sub, like and thanks Garfield. All right, guys, for the last pack we have. Oh my, that was rough. Whew. All right, there's no way we can end the opening on that, you know, poor of a performance as far as packs go. Actually, let's look at it this way. Assuming that we bought three ETBs, we're going to give away at least one of them. Maybe we'll give away the second one. Uh, hopefully, we open the worst one so then you guys can get the good cards out of the other ones. But I grabbed eight more packs. All right, we'll give this a complete reset, starting fresh, eight packs, here we go. This just came out of a booster box. And come on, we have to hit something, right? If we open 16 packs and don't get anything, that will be atrocious. Show me a full art Marnie. Show me some professor research. Ooh, full art, that would be sick too. Okay, the shady dealings. Man, this was so busted in pre-release yeah two drop two trainer cards it's basically a green exploration on evolve curious to see if that makes any lists although it is a stage two if it was stage one that would probably be way too strong garvantula and it's not that bad you know aqua bullet 120 for only two energy in a pinch that guy can fight and deal a little bit of damage to the bench as well rosalia pokemon catcher okay reverse and then a Durant. Boy, this uh, this cold way, this cold streak is continuing much longer than uh. I am surprised at how poorly this opening is going. All right, we got a switch. Always need those switches. Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Clobopus, Goldeen, Rosilia, Grookey, and then a Cloister. Another thing I was kind of wondering is, I wonder if the just the Sword and Shield era Pokemon, that generation, I wonder if it just wasn't as exciting for people compared to other generations. And I wonder if that's affecting kind of this uh, surprising low amount of hype for this new set. Got Sizzlepeed. Wulu is a reverse. Oh, finally, we got at least a V card, and it is a Cremorant. I uh, can't say I'm too excited for this card, but you can tutor up two cards, put them into your hand. That's pretty strong, but for an attack, I mean, unless you're doing it your first, if you're going second. Beyond that, it doesn't sound like a good way to use your attack. And this card, all energy from this Pokemon, this attack does 160 to your opponent's Pokemon, and then, yeah, this card's all energy for 160. Uh, I mean, it's not too different than that uh, the Naganadal attack, which is 3 energy. Alright, so we did get a V, but I have to say I still don't feel very satisfied with the results. Hopefully we get one more out of these last four packs. We got a Crushing Hammer, Mana, Rosalia, Trudel, Pinchurin, ah, another Make Do, Minchinchino. Alright, we'll take it. So a reminder, if you don't want to enter giveaway, like, make sure you are a sub, and 
Hashtag thanks Garfield. All right, so come on, let's keep going. Let's get something good. Give me a textured card. Salandit, Clavopus, Gasly, a Pharaoh Seed. Ooh, Keldeo. What does Keldeo do again? 40, and then Secret Sword, 50 plus, basically like a Hydro Pump kind of thing. Hmm. Seems, doesn't seem nearly as strong as the previous Keldeo. But hey, we got two V cards. All right, that, that's probably all we're going to get at this point. So, yeah, unless these last two packs have something awesome, um, eh, that, that turns out to be an okay opening. This The redo definitely made up for that terrible ETB. Gossifleur, and then a Mudsdale. All right, last pack. Can we get a Zacian? Yeah, actually, even like Quick Balls and stuff, we were... Uh, we didn't find any of those either. <laughs> Alright guys, last pack. We have a Salazzle. Ooh, Metal Saucer. There we go. That's a good card. And then a Goldeen. Yamper. Skaroopy. Clubopus. Blipbug. Ah, Whimsicott with that Cotton Ride attack. Alright, so that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching and once again... Um, yeah, like the video, subscribe, and thanks Garfield, hashtag thanks Garfield in the comments, and you'll be entered to win a Sword and Shield ETB of your choice. We'll announce the winner this Friday. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.